way over time, but uh, I wanted to talk about some work we've been doing um, uh, with Intel on, uh, on SRIV, single root IO virtualization. And these are devices which are designed with virtualization in mind uh, to, uh, to enable high performance. And you know, up until now, networking has always been a bit of a challenge. It's one of the hardest devices to virtualize, particularly if you care about uh, uh, you know, very high throughputs and excess of a few gigabits per second, or you care about very low latency. But using these virtualization-friendly devices, even those kind of applications, even the most demanding applications, can now be virtualized with, uh, with almost uh, no overhead. And so now virtualization really can be ubiquitous and deployed on every machine in a data center, even if it's being used for high-performance computing or uh, latency-sensitive message passing and things like that. Everything is fair game now. And just to, this is what we demonstrated at Intel IDF, is we have these uh, three hosts with uh, uh, SROB network interfaces connected via a 10 gigabit switch. And between these various pairs of virtual machines, we were using uh, TCP to ship traffic in both directions. And we were getting uh, 20 gigabits per second of uh, um, bi-directional traffic because you know, we were saturating this, uh, this fiber link in both directions. So we were really making um, very you know, full use of the bandwidth. And we were then even still able to do things like um, live relocation of the virtual machine between different physical hosts and then um, reconnecting the XROV uh, network interface to then go back to that full uh, 20 gigabits per second throughput. We could even do things like move that virtual machine onto a host with a different network interface card, perhaps one that didn't support SRIV, or perhaps a different vendor's SRIV network interface card, and it would all be able to uh, you know, either fall back to the software-only path, or fall back to the software-only path and then make use of the, the other vendor's SRIV NIC. And that's something which has not been done before when it was a raw first uh, demonstrated at uh, Intel IDF. The net result is, whereas if we're looking at the CPU overhead of virtualizing the network, we see that using a software-only approach, which is what you have to do on many NICs today, you end up with a, effectively doubling the amount of CPU you need uh, to, to deal with a given amount of network traffic, and uh, relative to the, the native performance uh, here of uh, 100%. If you're using an SRIV NIC, that overhead is just 3%. So it's, it's really very small, negligible in the vast majority of situations. And there's this uh, in-between approach using the uh, Intel VNDQ. Um, so it's not quite as smart a NIC as, a, as an SROV NIC, but it provides some useful acceleration capability that certainly uh, significantly reduces the amount of CPU we need. So just in conclusion, um, yeah, thanks uh, to all of you guys and, and folk everywhere else in the, uh, in the world for all of your contributions to the project and for continuing to, uh, uh, you know, the community continues to grow from strength to strength. And thanks very much for all of those contributions. I think Zen's architecture makes it number one in security, having that thin hypervisor approach, trying to disaggregate and deprivilege um, all, anything which doesn't have to be in the hypervisor, running at root ring zero, trying to move that out into other components. That's the secret to, uh, to good security. And you know, Zen's uh, heritage in this area uh, puts it in good stead because both in the cloud and the client, virtual uh, security is going to be key. And Zen really is the only uh, the, the hypervisor, is, is the hypervisor and certainly best placed as the best architecture to be able to do that. So Zen 4.0 is going to be a major milestone release. There are lots of uh, important new features in there, and I think that will just move the, uh, uh, the project on to the next level. So thanks very much, and I'll, I'll hand over to Kit.